What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This tutorial video is about discount. Please watch it till the end to understand how discount work with VIP. I already have an estimate right here. So we have discount on each line and we added discount to, uh, to, be, to be able to apply discount for the whole uh, invoice. I'll show you how in a second. But let, you, let me talk about the discount on each line, how important is that? So let's say break uh, break pads and assume like I'm getting it for $28.95 I want to sell it for $55.95 but I want to give the customer 10% discount so instead of $55.95 it's going to be $50.35 so that's discount in each uh, in each line you can do that for parts and for labor for sublet but the beauty of that is it kind of gives discount before the sale and why is that important it's important because it will not mess with your sales tax uh, when you give a discount after the sales uh, you need to report the discount to your uh, basically you need to report your discount when you file for taxes because the government or the state they care about each penny on each invoice and because each invoice is a penny and each and you have so many invoices now so they have so many shops that makes a huge difference for them so I like this way of using a discount where the customer can see you gave him 10% right here without messing with the whole invoice without messing with your sales tax so this is really important way um, it takes a little bit time um, but it's it's really effective it's not just doesn't mess with your sales tax it doesn't mess with your uh, with your money you make more money this way uh, I'm gonna talk about the other way which is convenient but you make less money and you're messing with your sales tax so like I said let me just give one more example right here if I want to do labor and say uh, break pads replace um, assume and I want to give them another 10% discount so basically if you look I gave him a 10% discount on everything and uh, my sales tax that was pre-sale so my sales tax is perfect uh, if you look at the sales tax everything's perfect there is no discount and uh, just basically basically what's what's the inline discount basically you're saying hey uh, I have a $50 item I want to sell it to you for $40 so that doesn't mess with the sales tax now let's talk about giving a discount on the whole invoice or an estimate. Let's convert to an invoice for a second. And so we, you can click on discount right here. So if I click on discount right here and well actually before we do that let's just go to our settings. Let's go to our settings. Uh, this update is not ready yet. Um, it's going to come in uh, pretty soon so make sure you update here so let's look so we have a discount right here now we added this discount so I want to talk about if you your sales tax first of all it's only on parts and labor if sales tax on only parts and labor well the way I had it is I did not check discount what's that mean when I did not tax discount meaning that the customer will will collect the full amount of of like let, let me give an example let's make it easier this way so let's go back let's go back to this estimate and uh, forget that let's just say we have a brake pads makes that easy um let's say my cost is fifty dollars i want to sell it for a hundred dollars and click on add uh, just change the sales tax from to some number easy let's put it six percent go back sorry I kind of went so easy so anyway um, let's just even make this zero zero all right so if you look right here so we sold the brake pads they're hundred dollars but the sales tax is six dollars if I want to make this even right there I want to sell it the customer you're gonna get one of these customers can you make it a hundred even uh, again I don't recommend that because you end up losing so much money by the end of the month and multiply that by 12 by the end of the year so it's a huge loss since we added like the inline discount people are making more money I'm aware of that but some people are struggling and they want the old way 
which is I understand in certain situation you might need it so anyway if I want to make this hundred even all I have to do is click on this count right here and add six dollars right here and I click on apply and just like that six dollars hundred dollars even but if you look at my taxes it stayed six dollars so meaning at the by doing it this way uh, the state or oh, in my case the state of Michigan are not losing any money on discount because basically I'm charging the customer the full amount six percent hundred dollars six percent six dollars I gave him discount on six dollars but still the state collected the whole amount which is if we go back here and go back here if you uncheck it that's what it means it means that you're gonna collect the sales that you're gonna give the discount but the customer will pay sales tax on the whole amount I don't know if your state you need to basically you need to check for with your accountant you need to call the state you need to figure out what's going on which one applies because that's different from every state so figure out do you need to check that because if if I've seen it I've seen it and don't quote me on that when it's all when when you charge tax on parts and labor discount they they check that too so let's see how would that work let's go back to here let's go back to the same invoice and let's look at the let's let's remove discount for a second so again it's a hundred dollar and six dollars sales tax remember I checked it I checked it the discount which means now I'm not gonna be collecting uh, sales tax on the whole amount so let's go back to mark right here and we're gonna click on discount assume I want to give him six dollars discount and click apply if you notice right here we only charge him discount not on the hundred dollars we charged him discount on the ninety four dollars which is hundred minus six is ninety four and that's that's and that's why we get the nine so and then usually in this case you can't really make it, it's hard to make it even so that's why if you try to make it even you can't basically so yeah so keep that in mind well, let's go back and let's say uh, six dollars apply 99.64 so you need to check with your accountant and if, if you don't have an accountant you might have to call the state to understand if you should collect sales tax before discount or after discount it's really important because if you don't know you end up the, the state can come in and actually uh, make you pay the difference that's the problem and that's why I like the other way where it's really safe doing it this way in line because it's pre-sale you're not messing with your sales tax um, if we click on this uh, I'm sorry if you click on uh, taxes right here you can see so we're gonna start tracking we have to start tracking discount when you're doing it basically this way yes we have to track discount and even when you go to your sales tax right here again you're gonna see discounts gonna be in negative values so you might need this number especially if you uh, charge tax on parts and labor you will need this taxable on the discount how much so keep that in mind but the good news I, I understand it's really convenient don't get me wrong I used to at the shop do it a lot uh, where let's say uh, let's say let's let's go back and do it for Michigan assume that I'm doing this I'm just doing an alternator too and so 488 I'm like all right how much are you gonna sell it mark I used to tell the customers I'll make it uh, 460 even so I'll give him 2001 I can do that 2801 I click apply and so it makes it 460 even okay I, I did it and I know I did it. I know a lot of people do that but literally in this case if you look I lost $28 my if you look at my percentage it's 50% right now 
so be careful when you apply discount this way you might end up losing a lot of money at the end of the month and at the end of the year that's why we have if you go back to here on your daily sheet you're gonna see how much you're making money and all that so so yeah discount is coming back the old way we're gonna have it both ways um uh, pick and choose uh, the right one for you um, definitely concentrate on choosing the one inline discount because it doesn't affect your sales tax and if you must use the discount to for the whole invoice you could now so which is really important because uh, the only reason I did it somebody told me mark I need to give a military discount and it's really a lot hard especially when it's in a big invoice it's a lot hard to add it on each line I totally understand that I was like you're right uh, we can make it let's say if you want to give the military discount 15% uh, I uh, see how easy is that just click apply it in one click and can give him 15% uh, on the whole invoice um, let's just uh, show you how it looks like when you print it print preview so we added discount to right here so you're gonna see discount it's gonna be a negative value and uh, yeah i think it's pretty cool um we're always improving that uh, something was we had it in the fourth generation now we have it in the fifth generation actually we have two ways of adding discount uh inline discount or discount on the whole invoice so anyway i appreciate you guys until next time thanks for watching